uses electrical currents to help block the pain signal from coming up the spinal cord into the brain. It works like a like a, a pain medication would would work in a similar way. The nice thing about it is it doesn't use drugs or medications, so there's really very little side effects associated with its ongoing use. We use it primarily for pain conditions, so in the neck or back, and then radiating into the arms or legs. We use spinal cord stimulation, which also can help with peripheral neuropathy. So a lot of people have diabetic neuropathy or they have the pain and the tingling in their feet and legs. And spinal cord simulators can also help with that, which is traditionally really difficult to treat because there are very few ejections or other procedures that can help with peripheral neuropathy. Peripheral nerve stimulators help with more extremity pain. So shoulder, knees, those are the most common, but even certain types of headaches. You can implant it under the scalp at the base of the skull. It can help with certain other types of back pain that are around the side of the back, rib pain. So if you have a rib injury, it's called intercostal neuralgia. So really there's a, a variety of conditions. You have a trial first, so that's done through a needle and the lead is thread into the epidural space covered with a dressing. You have it for a week to test it and see if it'll work first before you'd implant the battery. So if it doesn't help you significantly, then you don't do the implant and it just comes out and you put a Band-Aid over the hole like you never had it. We have about an 85% trial conversion rate in our practice. And that means that 85% of the people who do the trial do the permanent implant, meaning that it provided them enough relief to move forward with that. I have patients, it's it's pretty consistently in tears of happiness because they're like, I've like forgotten what it's like to go through a day without pain or like minimal pain. They'll say, I haven't slept through the night in years. I was actually able to walk my dog. People go back to work on these things. It is actually removable. So I think of it as like a long-term temporary solution. Psychologically, people like that because you know, they don't like something that, oh, what if it changes or it doesn't work? Well, that's not a concern because you can actually take them out if 10 years from now, for whatever reason, you don't want it anymore. This is covered by every major insurance, including Medicare, every commercial insurance, private insurance, both the spinal cord stimulators and the peripheral nerve stimulators.